What's going on, YouTube? Dustin Combs, Humbling Elevations, Team Runner Team Labs member, Ollie the Chihuahua. Yes, he's doing much better. I know in my uh, little vlog I did last week, yeah, I had a, told you guys about how he was having a reaction to some kind of bug bite or, or something along those lines, and his face was all swollen, his body was swollen. As you can see, he's back to his normal healthy self. So, today we're reviewing the brand new EWP and Earth Purpose light pre-workout watermelon flavor from of course run everything so to start the packaging it's white and if you don't know the, the like reasoning is because the black which has like the high stem it's like 300 milligrams caffeine i believe it's either 300 or 320 milligrams caffeine um that's the black one so the light version which has less caffeine 200 milligrams is the white one so that being said that's why this one's white of course i uh, i already told you guys i love the font always have always will probably it's just I like the way it really comes across. So, let's open this bad daddy. What's up, Ollie? You want some? You want some pre-workout? You, you want some pre-workout? I want some pre-workout. Let's go. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs> Scoop is at the top. Convenient. Like I said, this smells pretty grand. It smells so good, <laughs> but it keeps on going down the wrong pipes. <laughs> Before I shake this, let's put on the lid because uh, we already know how that goes. First impression, probably my favorite watermelon flavor. It's not sour watermelon, it's just straight watermelon. It's not too much of like a, like a pucker kind of flavor, you know when like sometimes like you get like a sour watermelon, you're like, but. I mean, it's strong, it tastes good. So that was definitely pretty freaking good. Depending on the results, I will probably begin this again because that tasted amazing, honestly. Vegan friendly, so of course, I wouldn't have any other way. The EWP Black Fruit Punch had a product put in it post-production that makes it non-friendly to vegans. Non-vegan friendly. Once all those units that currently have sellouts, they'll be putting out a new one that doesn't have that product, which I believe is just a food coloring. But, what, like I said, once they sell out, they'll be making it without that, and it'll be vegan friendly. And that will be the black, the EWP black that I'll be trying. Can't wait for that, because Fruit Punch is one of my favorite flavors, point blank, period. But I do gotta say, this one tastes really good. It tastes like... So, disclaimer, I've never tried regular watermelon. Don't judge me, I know it's kind of weird, but I've never had just plain chain watermelon, so... I don't know what watermelon is supposed to taste like, but from like candies and such, I think this tastes pretty good. Time to go work out. I will be making a video post-workout to tell you guys how I felt during it, if it gave me energy, if it gave me endurance, if I had any kind of like pump or exactly how I felt. <laughs> working out on EWP light pre-workout watermelon flavor absolutely in regards to feeling the dosages of like the little thing in there such as beta alanine and citrulline I definitely felt this one the most I'm not saying it got me like the most amped up I've ever been but like as far as like feeling that tingling a little bit like just feeling like that focus like let, like let's get it I definitely felt it I really enjoyed this I highly suggest it. I will undoubtedly be buying this again I can't wait to try the black because the main thing I was missing was like the the super like <laughs> the, like the like the super hype. So if that was just caffeine wise that it, like it was lacking, not lacking, but you know like wasn't enough for me. Maybe the black would get me going like hard. So I am super interested to try that black. They got fruit punch. They got tea. I don't like tea. The fruit punch is vegan, so that's why I haven't tried it. But when the fruit punch is vegan, that will be purchased. But this is something I would definitely be continuing to use because it just, it tasted great. It definitely got me focused. Like driving to the park for the calisthenics workout that I just done, like I was tingling, I was ready to go. It was, it was pretty great, honestly, like much better than what I expected. So if you were interested in purchasing anything from Run Everything Labs, you can use code DUSTIN15. So my first name, 15, for 15% 15 off of your entire purchase. Purchasing from them will help me get higher within their uh, 
team program, so I would greatly appreciate any and all support. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me. That being said, wonderful product, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, I do want to address something. I've been told by two people now that it kind of seems like I'm very, very biased towards running everything. It's not that I'm promoting them because, like, I, like, want them to be like, oh, yeah, this guy just loves us. Like, I do, but that's because I truly do stand behind their product. There hasn't been anything I haven't enjoyed so far. Everything has done what it's supposed to do, and, like, and I'm here for it, honestly. I truly am. I wouldn't get any kind of team membership or, like, affiliation, anything like that with someone I don't necessarily agree with or that I don't, like believe in their product so that being said i hope you guys understand that like it's it's not me bsing it i get i say everything tastes great my dog is pulling down my camera i believe in their products i believe in their brand i believe in the people who run it i believe in the people who stand behind it i believe in the rest of the team because it has a very strong community it's a great great community they got going and i'm very honored to be a part of it so with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day and do not forget take care of yourselves That was a close one. Now you guys are lopsided. it. Still a little lopsided. I'm sorry. Like I said, I still have no tripod. So, um, where was I at?